how to prevent liquid flood back and damaging a compressor one make sure you always have a minimum of 20f or 11k superheat at the compressor for synthetic refrigerants two have properly sized metering devices for your evaporator. Three, on capillary tube or fixed metering device application, make sure the system has a proper refrigerant charge. Four, when using a soft fuel accumulator, that will protect against floodback. Five, always make sure you maintain an adequate airflow in the evaporator. Make sure all that liquid refrigerant is boiled off. Six, if you have damaged semi-hermetics from floodback, what you need to do is pull off the oil pump housing, shake hands with the crankshaft, so move it up and down. And if there is a lot of play, you probably had floodback. To download a complete compressor troubleshooting guide, check the description. And if you want to become an expert at compressors and compressor troubleshooting, think about attending the Compressor Masterclass.